Hi, everybody. This is uh, Silvio Canto in Dallas, uh, Texas, on Friday, October the 5th, and welcome to our video commentary. Well, I just watched uh, a few minutes ago that amazing speech on the U.S. Senate floor by Susan Collins, the senator from Maine. Uh, you know, we've, we've known about Susan Collins for about 20 years. Uh, she has always been what I would call a centrist vote. Uh, she's been very good on national security, uh, but obviously from time to time she has voted differently than the Republican Party. And I really didn't know how she was going to vote here, but based on her presentations today, of course, she's going to vote to confirm Judge Kavanaugh. And I love the way she went through her presentation, uh, you know, discussing one by one all of the concerns about Judge Kavanaugh and always coming back to the same thing, that this is a good man, this is a good judge, and one that the nation can trust in the Supreme Court. I also love the way that uh, she you know, went through some of these crazy accusations about the judge's personal life. I mean, just absolutely crazy, some of the stuff that was being put out there in the news media. And, and yet, you know, it was out there and it was hurting the, the judge's uh, family and his reputation. And I think after this speech by Senator Collins, I think there's gonna be a lot of people out there who are going to have to realize that they overplayed their hand and that instead of bringing down Judge Kavanaugh, what they have actually done is that they've created a, a backlash, I think, against many Democrats like Dianne Feinstein and Senator Booker, Senator Feinstein, that is, Senator Booker, and some of these others who I think were mostly irresponsible. You had Senator White House, you know, inquiring about, you know, things on a, on a high school yearbook. I mean, how silly, how silly can you get? Well, the Democrats were very silly in this, all of this, and at times not just silly, but irresponsible. And I'm glad to see that Senator Collins called them on it and went through a very rational and well-written uh, defense of Judge Kavanaugh. So the next step is the vote which will likely happen tomorrow. It looks from the numbers now that he will be confirmed and we can put this uh, ugly episode behind us. And I think for the sake of the country, uh, let's not have another nomination like this or let's not have another confirmation like this, that is, where you know you have a person is, is nominated and instead of having a judicial conversation with that person, we, we go in this direction of personal attacks and trying to destroy the person just because we don't like the president who appointed the person. That's not the way it should be done. And I'm so happy that Senator Collins pointed that out and really, really, I think, brought this whole thing back to, uh, to the point that it should have always been from day one. Uh, this is supposed to be the confirmation of a person, not the destruction of a human being or the destruction of somebody that we disagree with. And I'm so happy that Senator Collins, congratulations, to Senator Collins for really, I think, uh, giving one of the great speeches on the U.S. Uh, Senate floor. We have all of these uh, videos over on YouTube. We have them on Twitter. We have them on my blog. And if October 5th is your birthday, happy birthday. Bye-bye, everybody.